It has been a long tradition at colleges and universities that a senior speak on behalf of the graduating class. Representing the class of 2013 is Cody Follis of Lincoln, Illinois, son of Robert and Barbara Follis. Cody came to North Central as a transfer student from Lincoln College and immediately became active in Student Governing Association and the forensics team, earning national recognition in his events. A career in law or politics may be in his future. Today, he's going to share his thoughts on his time at North Central College, so I'm pleased to present Cody Fallis. Hello. When I arrived at North Central College in September of 2011, I faced an incalculable number of questions about my life. Did I choose the right institution? As a transfer student, would I be able to handle my new course load? Had I chosen the correct major? The list goes on. And I'm not alone in this. We're constantly bombarded with questions. We hope for and work for positive answers, but we never have a guarantee. There's always that nagging sensation at the back of our minds that makes us question our decisions. It is a universal and very human experience making the need to cherish and savor it all the more important. Now we're all sitting here, and whether we've been at North Central College for two years, four years, or more, we face a new level of uncertainty. We're about to live and enter in the world in a way we never have before, and quite frankly, it's terrifying. We have no reason to believe it's going to go well for us. We really don't. And we begin to question our time here at NCC. Was it well spent? Did the school do enough for me? Are we prepared? And we start a list of everything that we perceive as having gone wrong. The professor whose harsh criticism served to push you toward improvement. The office that took their time getting back to you to ensure their answer was correct. The dining hall that cannot seem to replicate mom's cooking. For some of us, that's a good thing. Sorry. Suddenly, our time here was just a task, and this graduation ceremony is just a means of scratching it off of our to-do lists. But that might mean we're asking the wrong questions. Now, I'm from a town right in the middle of Illinois. It's surrounded by cornfields that can be both beautiful and suffocating to gaze across. I'm from a seemingly, a seemingly average working class family. The finances have never been easy or guaranteed despite the hard work my parents have put into their professions. And it means I was forced to ask myself a certain set of questions. How can I get out of this town? <laughs> Will I be able to pay for college? Can I do this? And most importantly, at the end of the day, when my head hits my pillow, do I feel connected to the people around me? Because as long as I have that, nothing else matters. And I know it sounds cliche, but the only reason it's cliche is because it's true. In our time here, we have to ask the question, am I connected to those around me? We have forged connections with those around us. The roommate that you were randomly assigned but get along with like a sibling. The classmates whom you have shared thoughts and ideas with for a mutual benefit. The professor that falls in love with his or her field all over again when you have that aha moment in class. The friends that sit and listen to you rant endlessly about failed relationships the teammates you spend far too much time with, and at the same time, not quite enough. And the coaches that put hours of their time into you simply because they care. These connections are so important. Our new president knows this. That's why he has been at nearly every event on this campus. He wants to be connected to us and the entire campus community. NCC works to become more and more connected, not just with its students, but with schools and organizations around the globe. Recognizing that interconnectedness is what allows all of us to thrive, not just in this institution or in this nation, but in the world. And in this world, which so often becomes disconnected because of the increase in the ease of communication, we must reach that much farther to become the leaders in our global community that NCC knows we can be. 
That is what truly defines our time at NCC. The, the campus itself is just a construct. The relationships and the connections we experience are what truly matter and are most real, regardless of where we are from and what route we took to get here. Our individual growth cannot be determined or shaped by things like a campus building, but the opposite is true. That these buildings are shaped by each of us through what we have worked toward in our time at NCC. It can be determined by how we connect with those around us. That is why 20, 30, 40 years from now, it is our connections to others we will most reflect on. These connections are what truly define our chances of succeeding outside of this institution. Now, I don't know most of you sitting here. Come say hey after the ceremony, we still have time. But we're still connected through this common thread that is our time at NCC, and we will continue to stay connected as we give back to the school in the future, whether it's through volunteered time or a check in the mail every now and then. It will not disappear because it can't. Savor that connection because after today, we will not feel with these exact people again, making it that much more important for us to seek out new connections. The member of the Board of Trustees, Jeff Swallow, along with his wife, Madeline, and his company, Magnatrol, endowed the scholarship that allowed me to come to NCC. He told all of the recipients that he started the scholarship because of how important it is to give back, because of how rough the world can be. That if we have the means to affect the world, we have an obligation to not only do something, but to care while we do it. That's the world we've been preparing for. And I truly believe it is the connections we forge with each other that will get us through it. So to answer that nagging question, are we prepared? I think yes. <laughs>